<laughs> All right. Well, now I'm testing out this Godox mic. The cool thing is it's super, super small, and I can even hide it behind the shirt here. You can't even see it or know that I'm wearing it, but it's here. And so we're just testing out the audio quality direct into the camera now on the lowest volume, letting the Sony control everything through that Sony hot shoe. So great. I love having no cables and just having that little receiver on top of the mic. It's just super brilliant. Super brilliant. So that is that. How does this sound? We are going to compare this microphone to the DJI 2 and just hear the difference in the quality of the microphones, uh, both EQ'd and not EQ'd, coming straight into the camera. So, uh, how does this audio sound? Test one, two, three. I'm in a controlled studio environment, so uh, no noise canceling on right now, no nothing. Just this is the Godox microphone going straight into my camera. I gotta say, I love the size of it, and I love the fact that it goes into my camera with no cables. All right, I gotta show you this to you. This system, this Wix system is amazing. Man, DJI, watch out. But what is in the box? So this is all that comes in the box right here. This is a little bag. I think it's a great little carrying case. You get all your accessories up here. You get your system with the charging case. And man, when I saw this at NAB, I told Godox, I need this because this, I mean, so tiny. It's like the size of a pack of gum. Look, this is the receiver. This is the microphone. They're like this, literally the size of a stick of gum. I mean, it's crazy. And this goes right on top of your camera. And then you got two microphones that you can link. And it's got the Sony hot shoe. So, I mean, Godox had an old system that did it. And this is brilliant. I'm so happy that they did this. And it's really given DJI a run for their money because it's already built into the microphone. There's no little adapter. So this whole thing, it doesn't... Like the DJI, it like raises the microphone when you snap it on. This is just kind of like built into it. And it fits perfectly on my A7C with a cage installed on it. So it like that goes just over the cage. So it's brilliant. And you have the ability to turn on analog and digital. So it's got an analog and digital switch in case you have either A, the old Sony system with the old, like the A7 III analog, not digital. It still works with it, but you gotta flip it into analog like a lot of the older Sony MI accessories. But if you wanna utilize that new digital signal, Pretty much any Sony camera that came out after the A7C. So my A7C, this system works on great. Anything after that camera will be able to work with a digital digital hot shoe, pretty much. So, I mean, great, great system, no cables. Another cool feature they added to this is they put a microphone on the actual receiver. So when you have it on your camera, you can talk behind while filming and it's it's a third microphone so technically it's a three mic system but for the third person you have to be behind the camera you don't wear it so that's really cool and you you can easily turn that on and off by the side rx button so rx on rx mic on and off is just receiver mic on and off so perfect and then what and then the other assist way you have it on the other side is just a power button and then you have a plus and minus for gain. So it has three different gain settings. So you can go up, 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 or down, down, down. I just typically leave it on lowest and get the great mix there. And then I, if I need more in post, I just crank it up a little bit. Because I find that, you know, I don't, I don't want to distort it. It doesn't have an auto mode necessarily like the Sony mics do. It just has like different gain stages but it works for me perfectly fine. And then you have something cool on these, which is this orange button right here. And when you tap that, it has noise cancellation. And we're gonna test all this later in the video, but to give you a little uh, example, 
it sounds pretty good. I listened to it and it sounds pretty impressive. It doesn't take away all the noise, but the benefit to that is it doesn't make your voice sound all robotic-y and weird. I can almost leave the noise canceling on and it just helps out with that in background noise. And, and you'll see it later in the video. And then you have a power button. That's it. You just turn this on. Or when you pull it out of the case, it automatically goes green. When it goes green, you link up with this, boom. You want to turn on noise canceling, you press the button and it turns the little LED yellow. So when it's yellow, the noise canceling is on. Green means it's off and it's on, ready to go. So that's just really cool. I love this system. And for the money, $139 for this system. It's over half the price of the DJI and it already includes the MI shoes. And these wind muffs are great. They stick on there. It's like the little the rubbery top. It's not gonna fall off. It doesn't snap on. You just push it and there it's good. It's, it's not gonna it's not going anywhere. And then it comes with an eighth inch adapter because you can still uh, to TRRS, so this can go into a cell phone, and then it comes with a regular one, and you can go into your camera with this, so if your camera is not a Sony compatible one, or your maybe your main camera is, and you have a secondary camera that's not, this system is great because you can use it on both. So you can still use this on other systems that don't have that. And it also has a USB-C for USB, you know, C charging the case if you need to, or this thing is also, you can use this as a USB-C microphone, so you can plug this into the side here, boom, USB-C into your computer, and you can use this microphone system as a USB-C system. So they've really thought about everything with this, and they even have a wind muff for the back of the rece receiver, because, you know, you might be talking on it out. So you got three wind muffs, one for all the microphones, all the cables you need, the USB-C charging cable you need, charging case, all small, portable, and it comes in this nice travel case. So great, great work there, Godox. But at the end of the day, what does it sound like? Because if it sounded like trash, then what does it matter? Let's go here now. All right, now we are doing a audio test of the Godox microphone versus the DJI Mic 2. So we got the DJI Mic 2 right here. Test one, two, three, both have wind muffs on. And we're switching back over to the Godox microphone here. Test one, two, three. And we're gonna just kind of walk away from the camera a little bit, like I said. One, two, three, test the audio quality. How is this sounding? One, two, three, testing the audio quality. This is the DJI mic. And now we're on the Godox microphone, test. One, two, three. Can you hear a big difference? The big difference with this microphone right here is that it goes into the hot shoe. Now, DJI does the same thing now, so both these two can both do the same thing. The Godox microphone does not internal record, which is very unfortunate, but this is a small kit. So if it is very effective on top of this uh, Sony hot shoe, Nine times out of ten, honestly, I don't really use the internal. It's more of a backup in case anything bad happens. So as, if you get good range or decent range out of this Godox and it's very stable and the sound quality is on par with this DJI, then I don't know. I don't know if I'd spend the extra money to get the DJI mic at this point. How does the audio quality sound between these two microphones? That's been a great audio test between the DJI and the Godox microphones. Should give you a good idea by now. All right, so now I'm like right in front of the camera, arms length away, and we're gonna do a distance test here. So, let's go. This is about five feet. This is about 10 feet, so test one, two, three. We're about 10 feet away from the camera. Test one, two, test 15. I don't know, this is like 25 feet, 30 feet away. Test one, two, three. Maybe, maybe further than 30 feet away, I don't know. Test one, two, three, test, test, test. Any dropouts yet? Test one, two, three. Normally the systems hold up pretty far away. Test one, two, three, test, 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 uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50. This is like 50 or 60 feet away. Wow, it's really windy out here today too. So test out these wind muffs and the noise cancellation, which I do actually have turned on. So test one, two, three, test, test, test. 
all the way over here, test one, two, three. I'm never going to go this far away, but you know, I'm going to keep testing this bad boy out. Test one, two, three, one, two, test. This is a long distance test. One, two, three. Has it cut out yet? Way over here. One, two, three, test, test. One, two, three, test, test. I don't know how many feet. This is like way over 100 feet away. All the way over here near this pole. I'm not even sure if the camera is picking me up. Test one, two, three, test. Anyway, I'm walking. I'm going to walk back now. So this is actually picking this up right now. That is super impressive. Super duper impressive. But I don't know. One, two, three, four, test. Two, three. I don't know what's getting picked up. I don't know if it's getting dropped out. We're going to just really have to see this in post and see how far this system really did get away from the camera. But if it got anywhere close to this, this is just super impressive. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Yeah, that was a quick distance test of the system. So we'll see how it performs. Yeah. Of course, we're going to go ahead and it's a really windy out here and there's a lot of noise if you haven't been able to tell. So I'm going to turn on this noise canceling and see just how good it is. So what you can do is press on the orange button. There we go. I pressed it once and the orange LED lights up. So now the noise canceling should be on. Is the noise a lot better? I can hear some cars in the distance. I don't know if we could have picked it up earlier. Now the big thing with these systems when you turn on noise canceling is a lot of the times your noise gets really funky like sounds and it makes the EQ of your voice sound weird. So if this was able to actually make your voice sound normal, then it could be a very viable option and I might actually use it. So far in most systems, with the exception of the Comica Vimo Q, I probably wouldn't have used the noise canceling. So very interested to see what this sounds like, if it sounds any better or if it sounds worse. So right, like right now, it's on and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off. But now I turned the noise canceling off. All right, so there we go. Now the noise canceling is back off again. Birds chirping in the background. Cars going. Anyways, that was an audio test of the noise canceling. I mean, I gotta say, this thing is super tiny. It's just crazy. Like, it's like the pack of a gum. Like, here, the DJI mic. The only thing this doesn't have is magnets like the DJI mic. But it's like thinner like I don't know this is like I mean you're when they once they start getting this small it's it's just like you know is there really huge difference between these two but I think the Godox really does look pretty darn thin and people need to stop holding your microphones like this and